During your C Sharp coding travels, you're probably going to come across C Sharp preprocessor directives, and that's what we're going to cover in this particular movie. The preprocessor is what its name implies. It does some preprocessing of the files before the compiler actually goes and looks at all the code and compiles the application. The preprocessor directives simply give instructions to the compiler, which help the compiler do its job before the compilation process actually runs. Preprocessor directives are preceded by a hash character or a pound character or whatever you want to call it. So we'll take a look at some of those here. The first two are define and undef. And you can see that they've got that little, I guess you can call it a sharp character if you want to, whatever it is, it has a word preceded by that little character. In this case, define and undef allow you to define or undefine a symbol. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, we'll take a look at an example that explains why you'd want to do that in just a moment, but there's a few other directives we want to look at first. Using preprocessor directives, you can also do things like logic. You can use pound if, pound else, pound l if, or pound end if. And these allow you to use logic to see if a certain symbol is defined. Now, if the light bulb hasn't gone off yet, don't worry, it will in just a moment. But there's two more directives we want to take a look at. They are region and and region. And these are used for documenting your code so that the C-sharp express development environment allows you to do things like label regions and collapse regions and so on. But rather than just talk about them, let's actually see them in action because slides just don't do it justice. Let's jump over to the code. I've got my preprocessor example open here. And here's my program file. The first thing I'm going to do is this. I'm going to do a couple of defines. Now, if you're going to define symbols, you need to do it before any other line of code in the file. So I need to put these defines up here above the using statements. Otherwise, this will cause problems. So if I try to take these out and put them down here and save, you'll see that these little red squiggles show up. And that's because the compiler is complaining and says, hey, you cannot define or undefine preprocessor symbols after the first token in the file. And that's just a fancy way of saying these got to come first. So let's go ahead and cut those and put them back up there. So now I've defined some symbols, but what exactly does that mean? Why am I defining symbols in the first place? Well, the reason for doing this will become more clear when we paste in the rest of the example. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste these guys in down here. Copy, and I'll put these in the main part of my program. So what you'll do here is you'll notice that when I've got these pound if and pound else and pound end if, they're checking to see if a particular symbol has been defined. So let's imagine that you're building a version of your application where you only want to include some code if it's say in a debug configuration or if it's in a demo mode. Suppose I wanted to have this code right here only included in my application if I'm shipping a demo version of my application versus a fully released, fully functional version. Well, in that case, I can simply change this from debug code to demo mode or whatever it is that I want. You can see I've also defined a Joe symbol here. I can make up whatever symbol name I want. Now, what's going to happen is the compiler's going to come across this logic and say, pound if debug code. Okay, well, if there's a symbol named debug code, then the code that's in between this pound if and pound else is going to be included in the compilation process. And code that does not meet that logic test is not going to be included. And you can see here on line 18 that this code is in gray. That's because the compiler is going to ignore it. I can just write things, it's not even code in here. Watch, no red squiggles, right? Why? Because the compiler is completely ignoring this code. It's not meeting the logical test to see if the debug code symbol is present. Let me go ahead and delete that. So now if we build and run, let's just do that really quickly, build and run, I'm gonna hit F5. You'll see that the lines of code that met the logical tests of those preprocessors was included in the application and they are executing. So let me hit return and get out of here. Now let's go back up to the top. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out this pound define for Joe. Okay, and I'm gonna save. Now watch, notice how the line of code that's inside this pound if pound end if section for the Joe symbol went and turned gray. That's because I've gotten rid of the Joe symbol and this line of code is no longer relevant because this logical test on line 20 no longer evaluates to true. Similarly, I can get rid of the pound defined debug code and you'll notice that 
the line of code that used to be included in the compilation process when debug code was defined is now gray and the else condition is now being included. So this right line right here, it says this only gets written out in non debug code is going to execute. So if I run this now, you'll see that that line of code is getting executed where the other lines of code are not getting executed. In fact, they're not even included in the program. If you were to disassemble this code using a disassembler, you'd notice that those lines of code aren't even present in the final application. Okay, so let's take a look at one more preprocessor directive, and that is the region directive. What I'm going to do is copy this right here, pound region. I'm going to put that in front of the main, and then I'm going to copy the end region, and I'm going to put that below the main function right here. Now, when I save, what that does is it tells the C Sharp compiler that this is a region of code. Now, this doesn't affect compilation. It's really just for documentation because watch what I can do now. Over here in the C Sharp Express IDE, I can click on this little collapse button and you can see that it collapses down. And the text that I've included after the region declaration here on line 10 is what gets included in that little label. So I can collapse that down and you can see now that all that code is hidden. So if I wanted to just collapse my code down to make it easier to read, I can separate my code into different regions and then expand them and collapse them as I see fit. Now, if you're coming from other languages such as C or C++ or Objective-C, you'll probably see sometimes these preprocessor directives used to define constants. And you'll see the pound define directive used to define numbers and so on. That's not the way things are done in C Sharp. In C Sharp, we have the const keyword, which we discussed earlier in the course for defining constants. So if you're coming from a language like C, where you're used to using the pound define preprocessor directive to define constant values, you're not going to do that here. You can use the const keyword instead. Here, we're going to use the pound define and pound undef and so on, just to affect the way the compilation happens.